There is currently a coup underway in socialist-ridden Venezuela. The regime of Nicolas Maduro isn't going down without a fight, with video capturing a large truck barreling over protesters. Get your free Build the Wall coin while supplies last National Security Advisor John Bolton says military force in Venezuela is now on the table, while discussing the collapse of the destitute country, an MSNBC reporter seemed to have inadvertently made a strong case for the Second Amendment here in the United States. From Daily Wire, Kerry, Sanders noted that Maduro still maintained control of the military through the whole ordeal, adding, you have to understand, in Venezuela gun ownership is not something that's open to everybody. So if the military have the guns, they have the power and as long as Nicolas Maduro controls the military, he controls the country. Sanders' comments came after an armored Venezuelan military vehicle plowed into a crowd of protesters earlier in the day in a video clip that went viral and was seen around the world. Watch poll. Do you stand with Trump in his fight for the border wall? MSNBC report on Venezuela makes case for Second Amendment https colon slash slash t dot co slash p pick dot twitter dot com slash uk four vs five pi free beacon at free beacon April thirtieth, twenty nineteen ultimately. If the government takes away guns and keeps them for itself the people are powerless, not exactly a hard concept to grasp, unless you're a liberal, apparently. Under the direction of then-President Hugo Chavez, the Venezuelan National Assembly in 2012 enacted the Control of Arms, Munitions, and Disarmament Law, with the explicit aim to disarm all citizens, Fox News reported. The law took effect in 2013 with only minimal pushback from some pro-democracy opposition figures, banned the legal commercial sale of guns and munitions to all, except government entities. Guns would have served as a vital pillar to remaining a free people, or at least able to put up a fight, Venezuelan teacher Javier Vanegas told Fox News. The government security forces, at the beginning of this debacle, knew they had no real opposition to their force. Once things were this bad, it was a clear declaration of war against an unarmed population. Nationwide poll, should Trump cut pensions for former presidents? The meaning of democracy should be very clear, especially to proud Americans. And yet, a certain MSNBC guest seemed to not understand such a simple concept. Weed Shahid believes democracy means taking power and wealth from those who hoard it. From Free Beacon, MSNBC panelists struggled Thursday to explain the concept of democracy while considering the rise of socialist ideas in the United States. The discussion on MSNBC Live, hosted by Katie Tour, led off with a discussion about the latest college admissions scandal. The Department of Justice charged dozens of wealthy parents this week with fraudulently securing college admission for their children. Continued. Democratic strategist Walid Shahid insisted the college scandal proved the need for radical proposals, no matter their financial absurdity. I think we need politicians who are going to produce solutions as big as the problems that people face, he said. That's the reason that things like Medicare for All and the Green New Deal are catching on. Shahid is the communications director for Justice Democrats and previously worked for both Sen. Bernie Sanders. I, Vermont, and Rep. Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez, D, and Y. Both lawmakers support the policy proposals he referenced. Costs associated with implementing the Green New Deal would approach $100 trillion, according to a recent study from the American Action Forum. Existing Medicare costs are already the principal driver of the ballooning deficit. Shahid had a particular vision of democracy. Democracy should mean taking power and wealth from those who hoard it, and making sure it belongs to everyone, he said. Watch poll, should Crotillery be tossed in jail? You might like let's block ads. Why?